This video will guide on your first flight with the GEPRC new production, Tiny Go. Take out the FPV and accessories. You can store spare propeller in the pocket at the top. Tiny Go user can use portable power to charge. Insert the battery into the bottom of the FPV. Make sure it is fixed in place. Next, take out the remote control. Start the remote control by turning on the power switch. Pick up Tiny Go and insert the power cable to start FPV and ready to fly. Pick up the goggle and press the power button to start it. The remote control and goggle were both bound to each other already before delivery and ready to fly. It is recommended that make the first flight in a wide and well-signaled outdoor area. Before takeoff, set the remote control mode switch to the self-stabilizing mode. After, open the foldable antenna of the goggle. Insert the SD card. Set the throttle to the lowest position. Turn the unlock switch and push up the left rocker to raise FPV manually. The left rocker controls the height and direction. The right rocker controls the forward, backward, left and right movement. When the FPV landing, it needs to hover to a lower height and toggle the unlock switch to stop the motor and safely land. When the FPV voltage on OSD is lower than 7.5 volts, please land in the safe area as soon as possible. You can change the flight mode through the flight mode switch on the remote control when flying. There are three modes. When there is signal interference in the VTX and the FPV is out of control or crashed, you can easily find the FPV according to buzzer. Once the FPV is found, you can reset the FPV by the anti-turtle mode. New FPV can be bound through the frequency matching button on the back of the remote control. One remote control can store the receiver's data of up to three FPV. When the power of the remote control is low, the LED will flash in the water. Please replace the battery in time. Thank you for your watching.